welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're gonna be getting into this cute little brown smoky eye that we got going on right here. It's definitely inspired by two of my favorite artists, Gore George and Beauty with Taffy. So if you don't follow them on Instagram, definitely follow them. I'm gonna leave all of their information in the comment section as well as the description box so that you guys can give them a follow. They are two very amazing artists and I am obsessed with all of their work and they definitely inspired this like super smoky look that we've got going on right here. It's super chill vibes today. I have a little glass of wine here. It's Friday. I'm not going out tonight, but hopefully this video can serve as some like inspo for your next night out. It's very like, you know, smoky, sultry, you know, eh, eh, eh. something that you can wear like on a night out. But yeah, that's kind of like the vibe that I was going for for today's look and I'm definitely like feeling all of that. Before we get into this tutorial, definitely subscribe to the channel and hit that little notification bell that you get notified anytime that I make a new upload. Anyway, so if you guys want to see how I get this look, then just go ahead and keep on watching. So I'm going to go ahead and get started here. I got a glass of wine with me because it's Friday. <laughs> Let me show you guys what I'm drinking because I'm definitely a red wine girl. I don't really drink like white wine or like roses. Like I love red wine like I'm definitely a red wine girl this is like the first time I've ever tried this but it's Doe's Fine Ruby Porto so it's a port I've been obsessed with another wine called Jam Jar it's been like my favorite these days because it's sweet like I love sweeter red wines so if you're into sweet red wines definitely try jam jar my cousin put me onto that one and i've been like hooked ever since it's such a good wine so i've been hooked on that one but i was at whole foods the other day and i was just like you know what i need to try like something sweet like in the same realm but i just need to try something different because i've been drinking that wine for like the last couple of months and i love it but i'm trying this thing where i try different things so i asked like the wine person that's like working that section at whole foods and he told me that this is like a really good one i think the jam jar is called a shiraz the one i'm drinking tonight is a port so yes we've got our glasses yeah it's Friday. <laughs> if you feel like drinking some wine with me, then go ahead and pour yourself a glass right now because we're about to get into some into some makeup right now. We're about to create a look. I don't know what look yet, but we're about to do something. Also, don't mind my boo-boo finger here. I like totally, <sighs> it's so annoying, I don't even want to, <laughs> I was gonna say it's so annoying, I don't even want to talk about it, but so I cut my finger yesterday on a razor blade. I was trying to open the razor blade and I was holding it like an idiot where like my finger was like over the razor part and I opened it and my finger just, it was just a mess, a hot, hot mess. And it's a pretty good cut. Like I cut myself real good. So I'm like making sure that it's all like wrapped up and like my finger is straight because it's literally on like this little, you know where your finger bends? It's like right there. So the minute I like bend my finger and try to open it or like stretch it, it's a world of pain. So I've been trying to keep my finger straight so it can heal. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So don't mind this little, you know, just ignore her, ignore her. I'm trying to figure out if I'm gonna go out tonight, but I don't really, I don't think that I am, especially now that I'm like having a glass of wine. I have a feeling that I'm probably gonna do my makeup and then like not really wanna go out. But um, especially if this wine like hits me right, which it does. Oh yeah, 19%. I was like, oh, you uh, you're trying to party, but okay, anyway. Let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, I'm gonna go in with some primer. I've been really loving the Alpha Dew primer. This stuff is amazing. It's been just like keeping my makeup all together and like, you know, glued to my face, which is exactly what I want these days, considering that we are back wearing masks. Well, at least I know I am because Miss Delta Sigma Theta is just out here playing all types of games with the world and I don't got time. So this primer has been really good just kind of keeping the makeup in place these days. It kind of gets like tacky once it starts to dry down. It makes it seem feel like, you know, your foundation is just like glued onto your face real good. Primer is on. I'm gonna go in with some Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray next. I've been really liking this like over my primer. I feel like it just kind of helps the makeup stay on a lot longer. This to prime and also to set, it just kind of like locks everything in. 
I've been using a mixture of the Huda Beauty Glow-ish Multi-Dew Skin Tint along with the Luminous Matte Foundation. These two together have been like my go-to these days. I just kind of like adjust the amount of this particular foundation depending on how much coverage I want because this is a super full coverage foundation and I've been really wanting more like, you know, skin-like, you know, foundation looking things. I'm just gonna mix that with my finger on the back of my hand here and then we're gonna tap, tap, tap that on. Oh yes. I don't know why, but I've been kind of like liking this more dewier look to the skin. Not so much for like the under eyes, but like everywhere else, like I'm kind of here for like this glowy type of look these days. Now I'm going back in with that CoverGirl True Blend Concealer. This one is in shade T100. And I'm gonna use this on the under eyes. This has been like my go-to concealer these days. It's so, so good. I won't do like a full coverage foundation right now, but I'll definitely still go full coverage with concealer. And I'm going to move to a cream blush. So I'm using the J.Cat Beauty Blush Mello Soft Blusher. This is a cream blush and it's in the shade Sweet Cloud number nine. And we're just gonna pop that on to the cheeks here. And I'm not gonna go in super crazy with this. There really is no need to, honestly, because this shade is like super bright. So a little wash of it just goes, it's like perfect. I love using cream blushes because they just make your powder blush last so much longer. Stay intact so much better. Okay, now I'm going to set with powder. I think I want to use something different. Which is crazy because I've been sticking with my Laura Mercier powder and honey. I've actually used this powder before, but it's been a minute. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbliss Flawless Finish Powder in number two medium. So it looks just like that. It's got a little yellowy, beigey, something, something going on here, but I love this powder. It's really, really good. It's a great um, under eye setting powder. So I'm gonna use that to set the under eyes. And I'm just going to go in with this little, what is this? Who are you? No, I don't wanna use this. I wanna use this one. So this is a Sigma F67. This is like the Skin Perfector brush. Ooh, I forgot how good this powder is. Oh my gosh. this powder is i haven't used this in so long why did i abandon you you're so nice this brush and this powder together are just magic i really forgot how good this powder is like this that looks nice that looks real real nice oh yes i'm very glad i picked you up thanks charlotte so i'm going in with my fenty pro filter soft matte powder foundation in 235 i'm gonna grab a little bit of this to do some extra brightening underneath the eyes we're gonna hit this little corner right in here. In the past, I would go in with like two different types of, um, two different shades of concealer. I do one that's like my actual highlighting shade and then I do one that's like a little bit brighter and hit this like little inner corner right here. But these days I've just been using like a lighter powder instead. I feel like it's a lot more, um, I don't know. I just feel like it's not as like, heavy looking as using an extra concealer. And before I move on to my bake, I'm also going to, you know what? No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna go ahead and bake. So I'm now I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier Translucent Lube Setting Powder in the Honey Shade. I love, 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 love this powder. Oh, 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 I love this powder. <laughs> this is probably one of the softest sponges I've ever used and I love it, it's amazing. And the sponge is dry. I did not dampen it. Now we're going to bake the nose, but before I do that, I wanna go in with just like a little bit more Fenty powder. So that was shade 235. And I'm going to highlight the bridge of the nose first. I'm using a Morphe M410. This has been like my go-to brush for the nose. I'm gonna go in with my baking powder. Just 
lay that right on top to emphasize the highlight. I am going to set the foundation because I want to add a powder contour um, or a powder bronzer actually. So I'm going to use the Artist Couture. This is their multi-use beauty powder in shade Caramel Delight. I've been using this a lot. It's been a fave of mine right now. I feel like it doesn't make my skin look too incredibly matte. It comes off more of like a satin type of finish. Now I'm gonna go in with some bronzer. I'm using the Huda Beauty Glowish Bronzer. I'm gonna start off with shade number four, um, which is deep tan, looks like this. And then if I want a little bit of extra depth, then I'll go in with number five, which is this one right here. But um, nine times out of 10, I feel like I'm gonna mix these two together. It's usually what I do when I'm like unsure about which shade to use. Baby, got to take a sip of wine for that bronzer. Mm. Per usual, I'm using the, you know, the, you guessed it, the BH Cosmetics Fellini Blush Palette. If you've been watching my channel, you already know how much I am obsessed with this palette. It's literally like my favorite blush palette, probably of all time. It's just really, really good. I don't know what else to say about it. It just has so many good peachy shades. I'm so obsessed with peach blush. It's so nice. I can't believe I ever used to hate blush. Like anytime I think about that, it literally drives me insane because I'm just like, how is it that I went from like just despising blush to like never wanting to go without it? Um, I'm gonna go back in with my little brush here and just start dusting away that bake now. I'm not gonna dust away the bake on the bridge of the nose though. I'm gonna save that. But I do wanna get rid of the, the sides of the nose here. Oh yeah, that under eye look real good, oh my gosh. Wow, that Charlotte Tilbury powder is the truth, baby. Oh my gosh. See, this is the reason why it's good to try new things. If you get anything from this video, you know, know that you should try new things because you might just surprise yourself <laughs> even if it is just a setting powder so i'm going in with my brow product next this is the kylie jenner kai brow brow pencil in shade number six ebony So let me go ahead and I'm gonna do this eyebrow off of camera. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this brow and show you guys the steps for it. And then I'll go off camera and do the other brow. So I'm gonna clean up next using the same CoverGirl True Blend Concealer. I'm mixing the, those shades D100 and T300 together. Man, I really am trying to decide if I wanna go out tonight because I just finished like um, decorating my balcony and um i love it it's so it's such a vibe like oh my gosh it's such a vibe i love it so much so i'm like tempted to just like sit out there with my wine and just kind of hang out and maybe watch like a tv show or a movie on my phone or something just kind of like vibe out out there or if i should just like you know try to be an actual you know human being and interact with other human beings all i want to do these days is just like sit out there and just like read a book watch a movie especially now that i just recently put up like the lights like i have these little lights hanging up there oh my gosh it's so cute <laughs> i love it out there so much so i'm trying to decide like whether or not if i should just like hang out at home i feel so good at home you know what i mean like i feel so like you know at home when i'm home <laughs> on top of the fact that i'm already a homebody and now my my home has like you know my vibe and it's like you know what I mean like it just feels really good here so now it's like you really gotta be like you gotta yank me out of this place these days 
Ooh, that brow look good, baby. Oh, yes. That's a nice brow idea. I like that brow. That little brow look good. <laughs> I promise you I'm not like tipsy at all. I'm just having a really good time, that's all. And my apartment feels like we've got some good vibes going on here, you guys. Like I'm telling you, it's been really great, like, you know, kind of discovering what my what my style is like, like what my vibe is and everything since moving here. Like it's been a real experience and I really enjoy it. It's starting to like bring out, I feel like the best parts of me. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, you know, I think it's like affecting me in a very positive way. So I feel more like myself. I can tell even when I'm on camera, like I don't feel like a shy and nervous and everything. Like I feel very like comfortable where I'm at. Hopefully that's like translating on camera and everything. I definitely feels that way for me, but you know, I could be wrong. Anyway, going in with the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. This is just like a little brow gel. Kind of keep these babies in place. This brow looks good, I like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my left brow and eye off camera, and then I'll be back to show you guys what I'm gonna do for this eye makeup. I went ahead and did one eye off camera and did my eyebrow. So let's get into this eye look because I'm ready. This this look is, it's giving, it's, it's giving. I also dusted off the bake off my nose and just added some Highlighter, I'm using the uh, MAC, actually I mentioned Skin Finish in shade Oh Darling. I've already primed using the CoverGirl True Blend concealers. I'm gonna start off with the Ace Beauté Vintage John palette. This is one of my favorite neutral palettes because all of the colors in here are neutral but they're warm tones. I'm gonna be starting off with this shade right here called Fade. So we're gonna start with the outer corner and we're going to bring the shadow into a winged shape. I'm using a Morphe M506. You can also use an M507. I would actually prefer an M507, but I am not going through my drawer to pull one out because I'm being lazy right now. So once I have the shape kind of down, then I'll go ahead and focus on like pigment and everything. But right now, I just want my shape. So I was watching Love Jones the other day. I feel like if I could find like a place like that, where they did like open mic nights and stuff, that type of vibe, I would totally go out. But try to find places like that are so difficult, I feel. That's like, I don't think that's like something that is very um, like prevalent here in Miami. I don't know where the heck you would find a place like that, to be quite honest. That's like more of my vibe. I'm not really like a huge club person, which is why I'm always so like reluctant to go out places. I find a spot like the one in Love Jones. Ooh, baby. It's like poetry night, open mic nights. I feel like that would be dope. So now I'm going in with the Ace Boutte Vintage Dawn palettes. And I'm gonna go in with the shade here. I'm actually gonna mix two shades together. So I'm gonna mix this one right here and this one right here. I'm using another Morphe M506, separate from the one that I used before. So I don't get you know, the colors all muddy and stuff. I'm just gonna hit the edges. Then I'm gonna go back in with that shade fade, so that dark brown right over here. I'm gonna apply that to the lower lash line as well. So next I'm gonna go in with the Caramel Brown Palette from Huda. And I'm gonna use this orangey shade right over here. And I'm using a much, much fluffier brush this time. And I'm gonna apply this onto the crease as well. And again, just going over the edges of our previous shade, just to fade that out. No need to go in with like tons of pressure. 
just a light hand. And just taking that eyeshadow out into the temples. I'm also gonna go back in with that same Morphe M506, the one that we used to apply that orangey for a second crease color, basically. And I'm gonna go in and apply that color, our third transition, onto the lower lash line too, just to soften the edge. So now it's kind of like the easy part. We just have to add our lid shadow. So I'm gonna go in with the same caramel brown palette from Huda. And I'm gonna take this gorgeous shimmery uh, metallic brown here. And we're gonna start placing that on to the lid. Right there. So my camera stopped uh, recording. I don't know when, so I'm praying that you guys saw me apply at least my lid eyeshadow because um, it's literally like the whole entire look. I also went ahead and added some extra setting powder because I noticed a little bit of fallout happening, which is kind of weird because it didn't happen on this side, but for some reason I'm noticing fallout on this side. So just to be on the safe side, I added some baking powder just to make sure there's no like mishaps or anything like that. So now we're going to add our inner corner highlight. I'm going back in with the Caramel Brown palette and I'm going to use a mixture of these two shades right here. We're going to use a flat brush as well for this and just kind of apply it right in here. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with some liner on the waterline. I'm using the Too Faced Killer Liner in shade Killer Cashmere. I'm loving this liner. It's been waking for me. And I'm mostly gonna focus this liner on the outer portion of the lash line or the waterline. I'm gonna take it on the inner, but I'm not gonna go like as crazy with it. I want like most of the brightness to be like on the outer part of the waterline. I think that's good. So now I'm just gonna go in with some mascara. I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and I'm gonna coat the top lashes first. Um, but before I add my mascara, actually, I'm gonna like prep my lashes. I'm using these Little Baby Lashes from Brat Ink. Um, these are in the style As If. Let's go ahead and dust off this bake now that we're all done with shadow. And go in with the mascara now. I'm just gonna do the top lashes first. So I am all done with the eyes. I'm just gonna go ahead and add my little lip combo now. Let's start off with the NYX Slide On Glide On Lip Liner in shade Intimidate. I've been using this for forever now. You guys probably know this is one of my favorite lip liners. Then I'm gonna go in with Melt Cosmetics All Day Everyday Lip Liner in the shade Edible. And we're just gonna do a thin line around the edge. And then we're gonna go in with our lipstick. I'm using Kylie Cosmetics. This is their matte liquid lipstick in the shade Allergic to BS. Q. 
cute, cute. So for gloss, I'm going to be using um, the, I'm gonna go more neutral or do I wanna go more peachy? I'm gonna start off with the Kylie Cosmetics. This is the High Shine Lip Gloss in shade Literally. But I do want to go in with like a peachier shade, so I'm going to go in with um, another high gloss. This one is Partner in Crime. Just go over it. So here is the finished look. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. This video was super fun. Like, I don't think that I'm gonna be going out for tonight because it's already getting pretty late. I got a new D'Angelo vinyl. I got the Voodoo album on vinyl. So I'm probably gonna vibe out to my D'Angelo album, kind of keep it low key and just uh, enjoy this little glass of wine right here. <laughs> I love the way that this look came out. It's such a vibe. Hmm. It's so nice. I love it. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Cheers to another makeup tutorial, another moment to like hang out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I love you and hopefully I will see you in the next one.